Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us again to learn how to be who God created you to be by praising God for who he is. It is awesome. I'm Mr. Rick. I'm Renee. And we are so excited. This week, we're going to learn about the book of Psalms. And we're going to start in the first book. Guess what number that is? Number one. And guess where the book of Psalms is? You should know that if you were watching the introduction video that Miss Renee did. So if you haven't seen that, go back and look at it. But we're excited to talk about Psalms. Today, we're going to see a contrast, which is a comparison between two different kinds of men as they walked with the Lord and one that chose not to walk with the Lord. So does that mean this only applies to men? No, good point. It does say men, but it means everybody. It doesn't mean just men. It's women, children, um, anyone that can learn and, and look into the Bible and read it. It's for everybody. So, so what is the difference between the two men? I'm glad you asked because one of the men is very righteous. And by being righteous, you're actually following God's teachings and you're excited to learn about God and you're spending your time um, in the word and behaving the way that God wants us to behave. And then the second guy is a wicked man. And the wicked man is probably taking his own ideas and that's not gonna work very well. So those are the differences between those two guys. So the important part to remember about the wicked man is that none of those theories last and they're not gonna get you where you need to be and it will not put you in the right place um, in God's eyes. So let's talk about the other part of the story actually talks about a tree and a comparison to a tree. Let me get her, grab something real quick here. It's kind of a small kind of a tree, <clears throat> but it's really important to understand um, the, the story about the tree. So a plant that grows and is healthy would have plenty of water and it would grow good fruit. In this case, we have nice petals and it would bloom when it's supposed to bloom. And this is actually supposed to be blooming right now. That's right. So it's a good plant. It's a good, and it's a good example because when you read God's word, then you will bear fruit. In addition to that, it's important to remember that in order to do that, you have to walk with Jesus, you have to believe in God, and you have to follow his teachings and trust in him for his forgiveness for our sins. And it's really important. So when we look at Psalms this week, some examples of walking with the Lord and not walking with the Lord, can you give us some examples of those? Yeah, we have the examples of Joseph. And we read about Joseph in Genesis chapter 37 through 50. So all of those chapters tell his whole story. So you can check those out. But Joseph was sold by his own brothers into slavery. That's not good. No, not good. Then he was thrown in jail. Then he was forgotten while he was in jail. And then when Pharaoh, who was the ruler, Joseph interpreted a dream, which means he told Pharaoh what it meant. And then he was made second in command to Pharaoh. And he actually ended up meeting up with his family again because of this huge famine that was going on. And he's able to forgive them and then able to rescue his family. So the whole time, even when bad things were happening, Joseph continued to walk with God. And he saw the fruit of that in his life, even through bad things happening. Fruit. Just like our tree, just like our That's flower. Right. What a great example. Uh, there's another example we're gonna learn this week also is when even Jesus would get away to spend time with God. And, and if we need to take that time as well alone, just like if Jesus did, we sure need to. And we're gonna learn a little bit about that in Proverbs. It will remind us of the effects of not walking with the Lord. And that's an important distinction. So God is so good to us. He's a good father that gives us instructions on how we can act. And he even gives us examples of how we shouldn't act. So it's a, it's, he's a good father to us. So this is a great way to praise him because he gives us good instructions. Yes, he does. And we hope that you guys have a great week this week studying Psalms 1.